Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today in this video, we'll discuss about essential latest coding question. And this question is important for your upcoming essential coding test. Okay, this question repeats. The question is like this. You will be given an input string. So your input string is like this. N equals to 1, 2, 1, 0. So this is your input string and your output will be like this and your output will be 3. So how your output will be 3? So the name of the question is autobiographical number. So we have to calculate if this is an autobiographical number or not. So how to calculate if this is an autobiographical number or not? So you can see here this is the position 0 position of the string and this is position 1 and this is position 2 and this is position 3. Okay, so the position 0 represents the number of 0. So in position 0, you can see this is 1. So 1 means it contains 1 0. So 1 0. So this is position 1 and in position 1, you can see this is 2. So 2 means there are 2 1. There are 2 ones are present. So this is position 2 and in position 2, there is 1. So 1 means that is there is 1 2 is present so here you can see 1 2 is present inside this string and this is position 3 and position 3 is 0 so 0 means there are 0 3 in this string okay so here you can see there is 0 3 that is no 3 is present inside this string and now you have to output the unique number so how many unique numbers are present inside this string? So now you can see there are three unique numbers that is 0, 1 and 2. So there are three unique numbers are present. So your output will be 3. Okay. So this is the question. So now how will you solve this question? So what will be our approach? Okay. To solve this question. So first we will write an array and then calculate the frequency of each character. That is the frequency of each character in this string. Okay. And then we'll calculate the autobiographical number or not. Okay. So let's write the code. So we will solve it using C. Okay. So write here the basic format of the C that is as include a stream. Okay. Using namespace standard. And then write here int main. Okay. So first we'll write the main function here. And inside this main function, We'll write a string, so string is, and we'll take the string input from the user. So write here scene is, okay. So after that, we'll calculate the autobiographical number using a function. So our function name is, suppose, autobio. Okay, so inside this function, we'll write this. Okay, before this main function, write the same function again, that is auto bio okay so right here string so this is the name of the string okay so first write an array that is int a and int a of 10 equals to 0 that is we initialize the array with 0 now we will calculate the frequency of each character using a for loop that is for int i equals to 0 i less than n dot length and then i plus plus and inside this we will write array of n of i minus 0 okay and then we will increase so we'll increase it position. Okay. So in this way we can calculate the frequency of each character. Okay. So this for loop is for calculate the frequency. Now we'll write another for loop to calculate if it is auto biographical number or not. Okay. Right. For loop here. For int i equals to 0, i less than n dot length and then i plus plus. And 
and insert this we'll check if array of i is not equals to n of i minus 0 so if array of i not equals to n of i minus 0 will return 0 now we'll uh, write a count okay so our initial count is 0 and next we'll write a for loop and this will be from i equals to 0 to 10 so using this for loop we'll iterate this array a so for int i equals to 0 i less than 10 i plus plus if array of i is greater than 0 if array of i is greater than 0 only then we will increase the count value and finally we will return this count from here so return count okay so our code is complete and we will print the output so right here see out Okay, so let's run it. Okay, give the string. So our string was 1210 and our output was 3. So let's see if it gives perfect output or not. So 1210 is the input. So our output is 3. Okay, so this is the perfect output. So you can check it by giving another inputs. So hope you enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then please like the video and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Till then take care.